Full vampire. Yeah. Um, it's really baiting the Google search for the term vampire back in the day. I guess Lyco search baiting back then. And then they were, uh, and they came out afterwards with two like side versions of Vampire Saber, which were uh, Vampire Hunter 2 and Vampire Savior 2, which were both actually just like what if versions that like took out a couple of characters from Vampire Savior and put in a couple other characters. And Dark Soccer's 3 for the PlayStation was like they t took all those and like put all the characters in them. So this is actually something of a unique like version of every everything. A little bit. A little bit of it. Yeah, because you could also uh, customize the characters, I think. Um, so you could choose like what version of them you like the best. And we got Greg off to the side, not on not on camera. Greg is in the room. <laughs> Making noises. Uh, he is actually manning the chat, so he'll be uh, giving out the PSN codes for the game. Um, it's just kind of a nice surprise. Didn't expect to see it, or at least not, I don't know. Didn't have any like a lot of foreknowledge that it was happening, and then kind of found out maybe a month ahead of time that uh, three was coming to PSN. Um, which is really cool. Most pleasant surprise that's gotten. Most pleasant. Yeah, Godhand made its uh, stealth drop on PSN. That was very surprising. Uh, yeah, the reason I wanted to have you guys on uh, to play is because, like, this is a, definitely a series that I have, like, a very superficial love for, but I never actually spent any time with it. Like, in arcades that I was playing in, it would be, like, the game that I would, like, look at when I ran out of money playing Street Fighter or in a Saturday, maybe more like Killer Instinct. Sadder, not as in Saturday, but as sadder as in Tears. Yeah, sad. Okay. Uh, spending time with Killer Instinct or Street Fighter, and then seeing this and saying, oh, there's a game populated nothing but werewolves and fishmen who are curiously attractive. And it just looked really cool, and I just, for some reason, it just totally missed me. Known Brelston is attracted to fishmen. Just one fishman. Just one. Confirmed. Confirmed. Confirmed, Confirmed like, attractive. I think, uh, I think the internet will back me up. That is curiously attractive. Who I keeps... don't know about the internet, but I'll back you up. Very good. That's all I need. If one other person confirms it, then it's, then it's in fact internet law. What were you saying earlier about Pyron? You did some look. You did look up yeah. uh, like his home planet. So I don't know. Um, Pyron is basically he was like the boss of the first and second games, mm -hmm. uh, and he is supposed to be like an alien from the planet Hellstorm. Now, according to canon, Hellstorm is actually supposed to be um, larger, and I quote, than the Milky Way. And so, um, so I decided to do some research. I didn't actually play the game before. I had to do some research, which would have been better. But that would have been useful. I, yeah. I, I won't have it. But I instead did like this. There's this um, little application called Universe Sandbox, where you can create your own situations with uh, galactic, uh, you know, planets and bodies and such. And there was, I decided to make a planet that was lo as large as the Milky Way, 100,000 light years across, and it basically destroyed the universe. I was going to say, the, the very notion of a planet being that size, uh, just bringing, tearing reality apart at that at that size. Yeah, the great Magellanic cloud was just kind of flying to the edge of the space. This, this. Look it up. Look it up. However, you will have to learn how to spell Magellanic, Magellanic. Magellanic cloud. His, his whole story in the game is that he originally, like, their whole planet is based on just strength and they can fight each other, um, just to make themselves stronger. But he also consumes planets. Uh, and so he came to Earth 65 million years ago and decided to wait until the planet ripened because there, I guess there weren't any sort of creatures 65 million years ago that were big enough to satisfy his hunger. Isn't that literally dinosaur time? It was, yes. So, I don't know what his problem was. Uh, <laughs> but and then Talbain dislocates his jaw. and Yeah, he decided to wait for much smaller, weaker humans, I yes. guess, to populate the Earth. Ah, lovely loading screens. Greg, what's going on in the chat? Uh, people are saying uh, Tyron definitely should be an NPC 3, along with Gene from Guardian and also... I swear it would make a good fit. Uh, I couldn't hear Greg, you're saying, uh, yeah, saying Azura, Pyron, and who's the other one? Uh, Azura, Pyron, oh, Gene from God Hand. I, I think Greg just added Gene. Uh, yeah, he himself. may have just inserted that himself. Gene with three exclamation points. Yeah. All three of those actually make very good 
can make a very strong case for all of them. Although Pyron, I feel that niche is served by Dormammu. I feel in UMBC three. A flame. Yeah. A, f yeah. A, a, a flashy flame guy. And Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider and Super Scroll. So. Yeah, I guess in Phoenix too makes sense. You get the when yeah, when she goes Phoenix, you get plenty of flame effects. A lot of fire in the game, in general. So the time frame for this is this, uh, uh, like which which uh which hardware is this running on? Are the arc are the arcade versions of this this, this era? Uh, this was, I believe, um, this was Vampire Savior was 1997. Mm -hmm. so which is Street Fighter 3 era, but I don't know if it was it that same. I believe it was CPS2. Too late. You've been okay. quoted. Yes, CPS2. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Eventually. We gotta wait for 2D games to come back like 12 more times before we get there, but... I feel he has this really, uh, creepy move, um, where she, like, will grab you, and then you do, like, the expert. Or throw a, what I'm gonna assume is a big ball of honey. It was, yes. But she like build up the meter. Right. Building up meter. Just do special moves while getting it. There you go. Okay. Uh. So yeah, basically what happens there is QB stabs you with her stinger, injects you with something, turns you into a giant egg, dies, and then is reborn in your back. <laughs> Maybe the most disturbing thing ever. A lot of effort for uh, not a lot of damage. <laughs> also notice whenever she throws out her uh, thing of bees, if one of them hits, the bee actually dies, just like in real life. It's a nice touch. This game is so much like real life. They strive for realism. Horrifying fetuses and all. So uh, between the two of you, would they have a preferred character going into the game, or a character kind of stuck with throughout the years? Oh, there's no question. John Talbane. Talbane. Uh, it's definitely the one that I like, just from a pure aesthetic point. I love all the animation put into that character. It's super cool. It's, it's awesome. I, I'm a fan of like the badasses, so I like Jetta, I like uh, Bishamon, and I like uh, Dimitri. They're all just kind of cool. Jetta is especially cool, but also creepy. Um, I don't know if he could cut off his head in this version. But he has a move where he actually cuts off his own head and then like sprays oh, the yes. blood. Oh yes. Well, you can see even his idle animation, he drips blood. Nice. All of his moves involve him separating body parts and blood come flowing from whatever part of his body has been separated for that particular move. This is what I get for missing out on one game. Nice. But uh, yeah, Jetta actually is the the titular uh, vampire savior, mm -hmm. Lord of Vampire. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, and he's 6,000 years old and like the youngest of the three major heads of the, uh, the team. And, uh, the, young, the oldest of which is Belial Einslam, which is Morgan's adoptive father. And there's a, there's a whole plot behind, like, it's almost like a game of thrones type of... I said, there's a lot going on here and it's, it's bringing back my memories of just playing this guy. <laughs> there is a, there is a bit of that. Yeah, Gre uh, Greg is going to be typing a code into the chat. This is for the PSN version of Dark Stalkers 3, which is what we we're currently playing. Uh, first one to guess the question marks that Greg is uh, leaving out of the code, and the first one to put that into your PSN account uh, will get the game. I did not do it. I think my, I check my button. 
Jedi's. I, uh, Jed also has this really cool move where he uh, will actually grab the opponent mm. and like pump them full of blood and like just explode them, <laughs> which is like almost inflationist in a <laughs> sense. It's it's like I think John Talbain when he does it just like pumps his stomach full and uh, yeah, really weird stuff. Creative individuals. Right. Yeah. No, that's just well, like what I was saying. Just even casually walking by in an arcade, even though I never like stopped to play it because I was, you know, totally street fighter on the brain. But like, just stopping to look at it, it was. Anytime anybody was playing it, or even the attract modes, everything about it was just so visually arresting that I. But then never got around to actually playing it. So now that it, it's part of the reason I wanted to do this stream was just to like. Get it out there and show it because it's. There's not, like, no modern equivalent for like even a fighting game that kind of looks that you can compare the visual style. It just looks so so damn cool. Yeah. Like half horror, half goofy. I shouldn't have said half because now I've locked myself into a corner. I've already hit 100. percent This game is 150 percent awesome. And the extra 50 percent is awesome. how the rounds just there's no break yeah that was a change they made cool. between uh, the second and the third is that they, they used to have like a traditional like two out of three round system and I, then I guess, I guess they just felt they were keeping uh, on the street fighter too much no it's, it's a cool touch it's, it's a small touch but it's just one of those slight variants that makes it uh, makes it feel different I think the only other thing that does that is uh, you do stand back up and kill instinct. I remember that, and I feel like MK9 does that now. But it's been a while since I played it. You still regenerate all your health, though. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, you know, like how it's like the rounds are already up there. It's always just like almost in reverse two bats and then you whittle the bats away instead of earning bats. You have a winner for the the first code? Uh, apparently. So if you if you if you're the one who are able to get that in first, uh, pop in the chat, let us know. By the way, is there any character anyone wants to see? Yeah, any request character requests in the chat. Basically everybody. Yeah, you can just play everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love that gradient right there on that loading screen. It's cutting edge, man. Only got 650 megs to play with. I always like this background. Like basically on the side of the sky. That is very cool. I do remember getting uh, when there were. A Victor action figure was it wasn't a whole Darkstalkers line, right? It was like a Capcom line or something. Yeah, there was there was a few of them. I, uh, there was a Victor one. There was there was a Morgan one. Uh, so I definitely remember picking up Victor because at that time period, like I was still collecting a lot of toys, but that was in my leave them in the box phase. Thank you, Toy Fair, for ruining that for me. Uh, but then I had a thing for like any big bulky figures or any thing that looked like it was going to bust out, fall off the peg or something. I'm like, oh, it's a big chunky figure. I got to get it. And Victor was one of those. Might have been written in the margins of the copy I had. I'm not sure. I 
Is that a counter or something? If you get hit? Or... Oh, it's okay. I remember BB, a lot of BB Hood uh, requests. BB Hood is awesome. And then uh, who's another one? Sasquatch. Sasquatch, Sasquatch is in there. Bonnie Relento. Relento's banned from Darkstalkers. I actually had a curiosity because we are like all basically all the characters are based on horror mm. stereotypes for the most part. Mm. Um, are there any kind of other like horror <laughs> figures? Yeah. Kind of horror? Like a headless horseman type dude or a yeah, that seems like a urban legend thing that hasn't been touched a lot. Of, except for Ichabod Clay, if I may, from uh, Clay. That is true, Ichabod Clay, Street Fighter, or Clay Fighter, Clay Fighter. Oh, yeah. 63 and a third. He's in the original one as well, yeah, yeah. Next to The Blob and Bruce Wade Do, if I may. What have we done? Greg was saying a, a ring style ghost. We kind of have in there. It's kinda, yeah, I feel like he fills that niche. Yeah. 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 Just a generic witch. Yeah. We could utilize that witch from Warzord. Warzord. Remember that one? Yes, indeed. I think I'd like to see like some sort of Cthulhu like Lovecraft beast creature. thing. Or that seems like a final boss. Zombies. That just gets into like, isn't he more of just like a, a murderer dude though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like a. He's definitely got the sinister vibe, but then it's like it becomes a game of murderers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be a pretty. Gr Black, game. Uh, just a black cat. How do you go about get the light the license for that? Do you have a cat? Yeah. Uh, what about a pi uh, pirate? We could put a what's her face in. Oh, oh uh, Ruby Heart. Yeah. Let me see. I think. Uh, yeah, there we game? go. There's that. There's that one frame kick. Nice. Look at that. That's your arcade. <laughs> <laughs> Let him go. Yeah, Red Earth, that was that was what they called War Sword and uh, in uh, uh, yeah, that had the, the cool like, lion dude with the sword. What was his name? Leo? Yeah, I remember the I remember the character design. Yeah, yeah. There was the uh basically the T Rex. Which they brought back in uh Capcom fighting all sorts of stars, I think. There's some kind of creepy urban legend. The saucer separation. Time another code. Greg will be typing another code into the chat. And just starting to watch, uh, it's code for what we're playing, Darkstalkers 3 on PSN. She is very excited about this. 
So Greg, yeah, is typing a chat or a code in now with some question marks tactically inserted for maximum inconvenience. Uh, let's go with the fish guy. How do we get double office? Oh, I guess it too. This guy is my, by <laughs> like, far, my least favorite character. But he's the sexiest Darkstalker. Didn't we figure this out earlier? Are you, are, I think, think we've confirmed this. Are there any Rakul fans on the chat? Press 1. Actually, better yet, press Alt F4. Just say I'm yes. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> just close the tab. <laughs> get out of here. Because he was the, what, like, when the original Darkstalkers came out on, uh, when it was released on PlayStation 1, like, it and Street Fighter Alpha came out, like, within a month of each other. In like early 96 and I remember thinking I had enough money to get one game and I just remember looking in magazines at the screenshot of Rikuo with the big fin animation like one of those still frames of and I was like man those sprites are huge and pretty that game looks so cool but I don't know what it is and I know I like Street Fighter and this one's Street Fighter Alpha so that's the one I went yeah, that was, I think that was its biggest, like, the reason it never you know, kind of extended its life as long as it did. Um, it's kind of always, the timing wasn't right. Yeah, yeah. yeah it needed need a, a moment to itself. That's it. The big, the big fin. It's nice. I'm not doing myself any favors with this. Of this character.